The Texas Congressman Nick uh, Lamson says more needs to be done in this, this storm-battered state and done right now. Nearly a week after Hurricane Ike tore through, a million and a half uh, customers still have no power. 57 deaths are blamed on the storm, 23 of them in Texas. Ike's financial toll could reach $16 billion. Evacuees will be able to start returning to heart at Galveston Island next week, but it could be a much longer wait for thousands of people in Houston. Here's CNN's Susan Rose, Jim. Walk into Erica Chambers' Houston apartment and you'll notice two things. No lights and an awful smell from wet and moldy walls. Erica and her two daughters can't stay here, so this is where they wound up. Erica is one of thousands here with no way to apply for FEMA paid housing. Uh, have you already done your uh, initial application? People who've lost everything don't have the money to pay for a motel room up front. And to apply for FEMA's help, they have to have access to a computer to apply online or a working phone to call FEMA. These people didn't have either. It needs to be lean and mean, and it needs to be able to go out and get its work done and get its work done quickly. Texas Congressman Nick Lampson is so fed up with FEMA, he got permission from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to bring 200 computers and 200 phones owned by the House of Representatives to Houston. So far, more than 5,000 people have used them to apply for FEMA help. The apartment is uninhabitable, and she cannot get a, a claim number. We can do better, and, and we must. In response, FEMA tells CNN that the agency has had 300 employees helping people in shelters sign up for assistance. And while the agency appreciates the congressman's help, FEMA's first priority was the life-saving supply of food, water, and medical aid. Erica Chambers agrees that those things were essential right away, but without some place to live, she's afraid many people's misery will last much longer. I see if it was Katrina when we didn't have a, a good understanding. We didn't know how to handle these disasters like this, these mass problems. But Trina should have been a lesson learned. And now she feels just the wheels are in motion. Right now, these people are just grateful to have a way to reach the outside world, a way to ask somebody for help. Susan Rosjan, CNN, Houston.